Okay, I'm here with Florida Audits today at the Gainesville Police Department on the corner of 6th and 8th. And uh, the mission is not only to go in and audit, Florida Audits wants to see about uh, making a report of how his rights were violated at the uh, Gainesville VA Honor Center where he accompanied me this morning. All right, you ready? All right, buddy. I'm Blue Steel. With, I'm here with Black Steel. <laughs> We're going to be going in here to file for a request for information back to the VA in Gainesville, Florida in here. They violated my constitution right. as a uh, right to film inside the VA. Yeah, that's a record there. They're not for you. Film inside of a government facility, um, the Honor Center, VA, over on Third. Um, I was at this gentleman's request here, went in to help him to try to resolve a complaint that he had against the violation of his rights as a veteran. Um, as soon as we walked in the door, they told me to leave. I wasn't allowed to film in the facility. I asked them to call the Gainesville Police, which I thought they did. They kept telling me to leave the building. I said, I'm not leaving there. I'll wait till the police come. They can educate you as far as the constitutional rights. And I said, your policy, the rules don't trump my constitutional rights. Um, Why well, this show happened, Veteran Affairs wannabe police showed up, not Gainesville police. I called Gainesville police and talked to some female dispatcher, and I told them I wanted somebody to come out here. Nobody showed up. So I'm here to make a, some type of complaint that I can make. There's Ashley Moody. Um, she might be our next governor, I don't know. What's the address, uh, Blue Steel? You got anything from Honor Center? I, I uh, It's the Honor Center over on 4th. The 4th or 3rd? Or 3rd. 3rd. They know where it is. Yeah, the Honor Center VA on 3rd. Southwest third, right? Yeah, if you Google uh, um, Honor Center, VA, it, it should pop up. I guess this is where you pay your parking tickets or you collect or King's Ransom. I said, well, give me a stat, federal or state stat, and I 
Florida Audits. Hey, how you doing, Blue Steel? I'm going to talk to the sergeant here in reference to that situation. Okay. And try to see what we can do. And my next stop after here, which I don't know what they can do, it is civil. It's not a criminal thing. But they did violate my rights and your rights to have me there oh, to yeah. help you. Oh, yeah. So these fine gentlemen here are the Gainesville Police Department at 545 8th are going to send a sergeant down. This so isn't my, uh, if not, we'll go to the VA. This is my cherry audit. This is my first audit. Oh, yeah? I, I got a long time ago. I did them across the street because they were ripping people off over there. And I came over here and they were very pleasant. Oh, this is Gainesville, you know, yeah. police department, they yeah. Charged, they charged a lady $4,000 just to change her damn fan belt. Now, you go out there to the ASO, or you get Sergeant Rodriguez from the GPD with the ASO, and then they're like rednecks yeah, unchained. I have issues with the police here in Gainesville. I've done traffic stops before. There was a black gentleman down there by some class, but they haven't stopped. Somebody were really injured him. And uh, the Gainesville police didn't say a word to me. I walked right up to the car. Oh, no, they the got... They're cultured here, you know. But you go out there to the ASO, they're like the Nazis. You try that out there. You got to unash your car every time they stop as per Shady Darnell. It feels good to hear. Am I staying here a while? I know. It's Not too long, though. Man. Not too long. Yeah, it is. It's like up in the 90s here. This is how it should be. This is how, this is the type of reaction yeah, people I'm, in the police should have. Nobody, none of this, none of this violation of your rights, cops beating up on you, shooting you, all kind of shit. When I seen when Jay Surreal Camera and uh, San Joaquin yeah. Valley Audits come here yeah. after they got done talking with me, yeah. they come here yeah. and uh, they, they seem pretty passive, you yeah. know, but then whenever they went out back, it was a little bit different, right. you know. Yeah, you, get, you, get, you hear me? You get they, get a beat cop they was on somewhere. the back of the farm. You get a beat, cap some, beat cop somewhere, they think. Their shit don't stink. Now, the chief of police here is Mr. Tony Jones. Tony Jones? Yes. Okay. And he's pretty much been the police chief for the so last few years that I know of. They lose their uh, certificate of accreditation. You know, they, oh, okay. I didn't know that. Oh, they, yeah. They're the same thing as prisons. All these prisons in Florida here don't have accreditation. Oh, that's why what they do, though, they notify the prisons. We're coming out here to do one of your certification. And they tip them off, so therefore they clean up everything. But my friend who's got mole tells me COVID D in there is going rampant. They are on lockdown. They can't go nowhere. Oh. They're, they're feeding them in the pile. Oh, in the prison. Yeah, yeah. at Lowell. Yeah, okay, at Lowell Correctional. Low. Yeah, I got friends in there. And, uh, yeah, she came down from Gaston. And um, Gaston's a private run prison. You can't. That doesn't sound good, does it? No, you can't uh, do too much to people in private prison. Because private means that you try and perform your business optimally for your maximize your return on your investment. Well, they know who you are. If they know so, you, I'm sorry. Go ahead. If they hey, if you got something private to say, I can step out. I, I, don't worry about filming, dog. Now, I, this is where I probably got to come to to find out about the. Punishment to Sergeant Rodriguez from my video from Holly Heights. I gotta probably come here whenever I understand the FOIA request a little bit better. Evidence, evidence and property and evidence return. Fire release, bicycles. That's what that's for. I told you. This, I told you I got my bicycle. My bicycle is iconic, you yeah. know, from my videos. And somebody stole yeah, my exactly bicycle. Right around with I with run a big sign on you. I run them down. I run the bicycle thief down. And then the apartment complex manager called my neighbor, Officer West, and he did his due diligence and, and caught him after he walked the way. So I got my bicycle back. I got all kinds of things for your The front desk is currently closed. If you need assistance by an officer, go out and commit a crime. No. No way. <laughs> I'm crying free. They need to clean, clean their filters. Yeah, but get the inmates out here start cleaning stuff. Free labor. Come on, been here ten minutes already. I heard up 
say my piece and get the hell out of here. Oh, they, this is about that Nazi that came to the college. Oh, yeah, yeah. That yeah. ass hat. <coughs> yeah, he had permission to do a uh, something, and, and they tried to get him stopped. I think they did, didn't they? Okay, I was at Chipotle doing what I did. Yeah. And um, he was out there on the sidewalk. Yeah. And that had me, you know, watching him, right? Right. And, uh, boy, they was throwing shit at him left and right. Like, people were throwing oh, yeah. their... Whole Chipotle bowls at him and stuff. Yeah, for every support he had, they had two against him. Yeah, I yeah. know that shit. I mean, you know, that's not my, you know, I don't, I don't care about that stuff. But it was kind of like, I would have left then. I tell, you, I tell you what was scary. I went up to Kenosha. Uh-huh, Wisconsin, Wisconsin. Yeah. When they had that riots and that young kid uh, shot, shot those couple of people. In the middle of the street, he was up there protecting his friend's business. His oh, friend. yeah, I do remember I'll that. I'll tell you what, I was about from here to the street away from him when they tried to take his, his rifle away from him. And I'll tell you what, you're talking oh, about. Oh, yeah, I remember that. You're talking about being scared. I was scared to death. You were, you were in said, that? Yeah, you were, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. I never been to Wisconsin. And I got friends living in uh, Minnesota up there. I used to have a sergeant. His name, well, we won't say his name, but he was uh, from Wisconsin. He used to say I was from Florida, the dick of the state. Yeah. And I used to tell him he was from the cheese. Yeah, because this little town is called Lady Smith. It was from of, under cheese. I had an old friend that she had a nice house and I went up there and kicked it with her for a while. And then until the, all that shit started off down there. But that's a scary situation. But I've been through, I've, I've been through a lot of riots, a lot of, a lot of shit going up, especially in the I've 60s, never seen nothing like that. In the 60s, the riots in Cleveland. 68, 69. Oh, yeah. Now, uh... And then the prison riots, too. Now, the deputy... Those deputies, they're out at the Alachua County Sheriff's Office. Yeah. The ones that violated my Fourth and First Amendment rights where we just come from, Holly Heights. And, uh... Why didn't you go there? And the sergeant, this is where he's from, Gainesville Police Department. His name is Sergeant Rodriguez. Well, yeah, I remember the name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Name rings the bell. Yeah. He's the one that I called the uh, sociopath. So they don't have them. They have more cameras at the V8 than they had in here. They have, what, four in that one little... Yeah. Four or five hundred square foot space. I can't figure out who they were trying to protect. Uh, who was who were they protecting in there? Probably them, all them Karens in there were sitting around that desk. That's who they were protecting. This is my cherry audit, everybody. This is my first time I've ever audited anything. This is my first audit. And I'm here. How long ago was that? Blue Steel. What, my audit? Yeah, first audit here. How long? No, this is my first audit. Oh, this is your first ever. Time? Oh, okay. Ever. Oh, good. I broke your cherry. Yes, that's what I'm saying. This is my first. I didn't want to say it too loud when that female was in here, because she might have been a victim or something. I didn't want to upset her. But yeah, this is my first audit. This yeah. is the first time I've ever done anything besides that pertained to my situation. Yeah, that was uh, that was uh, powerful. <laughs> yeah. Here comes a parking guy, I believe. All these motherfuckers need to be exposed. Just the bad ones. Just the ones that are non-conformances. Just the ones that are non-conformances. Well, people don't. People don't stick up for their rights. All right. So my sergeant says it's gonna be a while because they're dealing with a homicide. Oh yeah. Right. I'm not sure really where at, but he said that. Um, we usually don't deal with complaints for the VA. You can have to talk to the federal government about right, doing it. Okay, so you don't have a contract with them to, in case they need someone, they, yeah. they, they call the VA, they don't call Gainesville? That's correct. If Sometimes you, you got a protocol, call, they will call you for certain situations. Oh, you this, have an agreement. this is yeah. uh, so, uh, so uh, K. Okay. Bernard, okay. field okay. service okay. technician. The VA has their own police service, so okay. whatever happens in the VA, they handle okay. it. 
we don't have nothing to do with it. All right, because this guy refused to even make an incident. I asked for his card and an incident number. Right. He said, oh, there are no incident numbers, no incident. Right. I said, so you're not making a report on this? He said, no. Right. And I said, well, as soon as I seen who he was, I said, well, hell yeah. You're, you're going to back up whatever they're telling you. You're going to back them up. Hell with the Constitution. Right. You so. know. He come down there as my witness because I've been having some problems with the VA. Right. It's all on my YouTube channel, Blue Steel, Holly Heights. Okay. And uh, makes good bathroom. Heights, right? Oh, they all know where Holly Heights is. It's a crime, bit, crime corridor. How you doing, officer? Hello now. So, so you said to file a complaint with the. I'll go with them when okay. I had some more time. Your All name right. is uh, Bernard. Yes, sir. Field service technician at the Gainesville yep. Police Department. Thank you for your service. Well, thank you for your time and effort, sir. You're very courteous. Okay. Thank you. Good luck. Very professional. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Well, another A plus here at Gainesville Police Department. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. All right. Have a good day. Thank you. All right. We're out here. We're done. We give me A. Peace off until the next one. All right, that was my cherry getting busted. That was my first audit. It wasn't very confrontational, thank goodness. So you need to go on and tell me, hey, they guess perform what? Florida audits broke my cherry. <laughs> Everything went well. Florida audits wanted to follow up, like everybody says, to follow through. And so he come here because he was mistreated at the Gainesville, I mean, at the VA, VA Honor Center. And so um, he come here to follow up, but they made reference back to the VA because it's the VA department, not the GPD, yeah. even though it's in Gainesville. So that's the protocol, and I guess the way they follow the policy and procedure, they don't tread on each the other's turf. VA has turf. their own police, just like the Postal Service. So, uh, so we will go to the VA, and we will go there, and we request film of the inside on this particular day and get the film on there show them that they violated all rights and my rights for allowing me to film they kept telling me i gotta leave because i'm filming not because of anything else but because i was filming you can't take my picture well i told them i said you don't want on camera you shouldn't have came out here and walked up to my camera right 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 you didn't want me on film Get back in your office. Yeah. You know, and yeah. besides, they weren't the facility to render or yeah. any head honchos. You gotta create privacy. If you want privacy, you have to create it. And then they ripped out the HIPAA laws on me. And I said, HIPAA laws don't apply to me. Well, you had your HIPAA filter on, I, right? I, I, I'm, I'm not an employee. You're an employee. HIPAA laws don't apply to me. Yeah, I, I learned said, that if you today. leave somebody's information out on the calendar <laughs> and I can see it, that's your fault. Hey, I do want to walk back here. I've never done a cop audit before, and I want to go, go back here and into the parking lot, right, we'll and we're going to look and see if I see any goddamn blue ISIS flags, because you know I can't stand it. Oh, yeah, it. I do too. You know I can't stand it. That's why I call it blue ISIS. You want to advertise it, I'll rock it. I'll put you on bio glass. As they do fucking gang, but gang, that's a, they belong to the blue line gang. Yeah, you can do, you can do that thing. Oh yeah, I'm going to. Yep. Yep. That is the sidewalk. I don't see no signs here. If there was, if there was a trespassing, it should be a sign at all entrances. Okay, those that are watching, man, Florida audits, we're going to walk and see if we see any blue line flags. We're just gonna do this here, uh, parking lot, because I ain't never been on a cop watch before. Afternoon, gentlemen. We're just looking for them blue ISIS flags. I don't know if y'all have them, but I'm just conducting a survey, that's all. No blue ISIS flag on that one. I'm not saying Gainesville Police Department is perfect because no company operates without nonconformances. But I don't see and nor have I ever seen any blue ISIS flags except for the one that that shitball uh, Sergeant Rodriguez with his uh, with his uh, 
sociopathic personality and tendencies. No, there's no blue ISIS flags here. I always want to do that because I hell hate and despise the blue ISIS flag. I hate the fact that they wear subdued flags because that is a sign of war. That's why you wear a subdued flag. Oh, you do that. That's you. I was just hunting blue ISIS. Oh, look at this law enforcement officer. He has a Bible. That's that's somebody saving grace right there, I believe. I'm not saying that would affect his uh, discharge of duties, but that's somebody that you'd probably rather be arrested by than somebody that don't have a Bible on their uh, dashboard. Hopefully, he's, hopefully he's not a hypocrite. Oh, I doubt it. He goes out and treats people badly. Oh, yeah. Now, now you can call that gang sign. That thin blue line right there <laughs> is to me. Do you do you take that as that the blue ISIS? Yeah, I'll take that as a uh, a blue line gang because of the width. It's got to be wider than that. Oh, I see. I see. It's maybe like Williston. Williston police cars. They got a big six inch stripe down the car. It's blue, but it's not a. To me, it's like that back quarter panel. Okay. That's the way it is. And to me, that's not a blue line game. Okay, so this accent right here, because I don't have a lot of experience to draw on, this a this accent right here, these two blue lines, so you're saying that is kind of symbolic yeah, of the blue ISIS. That's the blue line. That's the reference okay. to. Now, this line back here, this blue one here, uh huh. to me, that, that's, a, that's a trim. That, that's, I got that you. That resemble the blue line game, but... So, okay, I, I'm, I mean, I'm learning, you know. Undercover, undercover. Nina. undercover. Did you get them? These are the cover cards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I done popped all them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. This is the physical training yeah. unit. That's, that's their gym. That right oh, yeah. That's the technician, service technician. He acted very polite and very professional when he encountered us. We're going to go ahead and... Well, if it's near the college, I would have got the alert, you know, on my phone because I'm dialed into that. Oh, okay. Yeah, where they tell you shelter in place. There's one. You ever see these new now? Oh, the Mylar, yeah. Uh, oh, this is one too. Yeah, I don't see any. Where's the employee parking lot at? This might be an uh, undercover car. Oh, yeah, there's a. Uh, well, let's. Yeah, I don't know if we should go over there. Well, I'm just. I don't. I didn't know. You, I, you know, I don't have no experience to draw on there. Florida audits. See how they turn around and run? No, I don't think they have a jail here, do they? Well, they're, they're going to have to have some type of facility here. No, I haven't seen a blue ISIS flag on any run? officer yet. So as soon as you've seen us, they turn around and start running. Oh, yeah, way. I would too. They got the car running back here. Burn up our hard earned money that we pay for the gas. Car wash, vacuum for employees only. Oh, they did good, huh? They closed your computer. Fine, ma'am. Hey, I have never asked an officer at all law their name. This is my first audit. Okay. And uh, can I help you guys? Can I just ask you your name? Could I never asked the officer their name? This is my first I'm audit. MJ Brown. Yes, ma'am. MJ Brown. How can I help you guys? Oh, we're just, uh, we went in, we had business, and we're just, uh, I'm actually looking for any blue ISIS flags. Okay. And I'm so glad you're not wearing one. All right. Okay. Thank you. All right. Be safe out here. Hello, gentlemen.
Oh, you got a blue ISIS flag on. What? Hey, hey, sir. Hey, guys. Do you have a blue ISIS flag on? Hey, I mean, I just want to see it in person. Well, I think it's very disgusting that you. someone I mean, wears a blue ISIS flag. flag. I don't even know what kind of flag you're talking on. about. That's the one with the blue line through it. I got you guys. That'd be like me. Hey, let's, let, you got your talk. body camera that would be, on? I'm, I'm not trying to include you in here. Hey, you got your body camera on? Okay. I'm not trying to You got it on? All right, because I'll be I'll be requesting But I've seen the blue ISIS flag, and I think as a citizen and as somebody that done a little bit more than a citizen to be a free American. Okay. That I just wanted to see their blue ISIS flag because I will be following up on that. Okay. And I'm so glad that you don't have one. And we're not armed and we mean you no harm. I hear you, but when you're Oh, no, no, I didn't go up to new officers. Them officers are safe. I just seen whenever he walked by, he had the blue ice. Okay, flag. but like when my officers oh, you're in the car, LT. I got to so make let sure me they're safe. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, That's yeah, I all got you. my You're in LT. I didn't know. All right? We got a camera. I didn't know. Okay. Thank you for not wearing the blue ISIS flag. I appreciate it. Is there anything I can do to help you guys out? No, I don't need okay. any help. It's one thing to walk through, but then there's another thing. Oh, yeah, we're on our way out. We're getting ready to go out. You know, there's okay. no, uh, we didn't trespass. Wear, uh, blue, uh, uh, like, I like that on your uniform. Thank you for not wearing the blue ISIS flag. I appreciate it. The flag just subdued with the blue line through it. It's very un-American. I just seen one that went in with one. There's nothing we can do for you. You're done here. Blue flag uniform. Please keep moving. And you're, I, this is my first cop audit. And Miss uh, Lieutenant Brown. Yeah, yeah, Lieutenant Brown was accompanying us. And uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you feel that way. You know what I'm saying? This isn't for public access. Is there a no trespassing sign anywhere? Telling isn't the law, sir. No, I didn't mean to start anything, and you engaged me. So for the camera, can you please state your name? Let's unengage, okay? All right, then. Carry on. Are, are these guys leaving or are they just going to roam around? I'm not going to let them walk up on officers in the cars. No, we're not in. trying to hurt nobody. We're just... I what you guys are, what you're doing. Yeah, hey, look here. We're just trooping the line. Them. That's all. You know what I'm saying? If there's no, we've not... Oh. Uh, you're not stopped. I'm personally... I'm violating your rights. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Sergeant. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Be yeah. Honest, will yeah, well, so nobody's we got our chaperone. Lieutenant Brown's our chaperone. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for your time and effort. <laughs> I only seen one blue ISIS flag. Well, she was. name and badge number. Other than that, watch yourself. All you gotta do, ask them the badge, name and badge number. Other than that. All that bullshit. Are we on our way out? They're not our friend. No, I, I know. If I mean, I'm, I just want to get over here. Right. I've only seen one blue ISIS flag. That's it. Just call them blue line gang. I don't. I, I, I know I'm they're blue ISIS. No blue ISIS. Shit. I don't know what the fuck yeah. that means. That, that's ugly. That's how ugly it well, is. Stick to what we all call it. It's a blue line game. Right there? Yep, that one, that SUV. Oh, that's the SWAT mobile. I remember whenever that show come out in the 70s. SWAT. Special weapons and tactics. Look, they got sandbags on the roof. Hey, look, they got sandbags on the roof of that. It's not an MRAP. I don't know what that is. Like a... You know, we we don't mean you no harm, sir. We're on our way out. Hey, 
And that's the law. I don't see no signs. Isn't it your job to enforce the law? It absolutely is. It also says Boy, is that a... Where is that? Oh. Okay. Hey, look here. We're doing, our point of entry didn't say that, okay? Where we come in at? We can talk. Like I said, I had another officer sitting here, so I'm walking back over. Oh, I got you. I got you. I can't have you walking up on them. I got you. I got you, LT. I got you. Okay. I was on my way out. I don't know. But I didn't know. But that officer. Oh, those are Blue Line magazine pouches, if you can see them. See the market of Blue Isis? All right. She's telling me, get out of here. Well, we're free to go. We're free to stay. Are you, do you need See the market of Blue Isis no, on his magazine pouches? Like that. That's kind of like a, a, a sub. What is your name, sir? Oh, if you want to work, excuse me? What's your name? That's no, kind that's of a subtle way of flying that. I don't even know what kind of fight you're talking about. I'd rather look it up no. myself. Well, okay, you got a sergeant named Rodriguez. He's on my video, a Holly Heights Blue Steel. I'm Blue Steel. And uh, he's got the Blue Isis mark. The mark of the Blue Isis. What's your name? I'm. You, asked me my name you know I'm in. Listen, love. You know, you know. I got a code of conduct I got to adhere to. What What do you go by? What do you want to be called? Blue Steel. Blue Steel. Okay. Or you can call me Airborne. Airborne. All right. I'm just saying. You asked me my name. I gave you. Yes, ma'am. There's no. I have no faults with you. I cannot leave. We're on our way out. You said that, and I walked away well, trusting you. I was on my way out. I was aggressing out. But my officer still was sitting in here, and this guy was walking up on my officer in the car. That's That's the concern. That, that he was. That's the concern. Okay, we're on our way out, okay? Right. Till y'all stop us. That was our intention. No, we didn't stop you. no, no, but I mean you something happened. You. You okay, something Sarah happened. Was, she spoke spoke. She What's her name, Sergeant? She didn't say, she didn't tell you no, she stop. told me to get off. Nah. That's not what I said. There's lawful orders and there's legal orders. It's, it's and there's direct and I didn't, orders. I didn't tell you to stop. You Can you state right? your name for me, Sergeant? I told you, Sergeant Lauren knows. You guys Thank you. I didn't hear you. I got a hearing deficit. All right, guys. Mr. Airborne. I understand the code. Hey, I look. just, like I said, I have to be able to make sure my officers are safe. I understand. That's and you've been very hey. professional. Hey. And I'm glad, like I said, I've only hey. seen What's the blue line gun, on the eyes, gun, on the magazines. Got the damn guns. We but got you can camera. see my gun. I don't know what you have. And I can't see anything. I right? don't have anything. See that point? <laughs> but uh, the only, the only blue, blue license I seen was that other officer. I don't want to search me. Can I see everything? I'm scared. Look, I don't know. You're, you're, you're a look officer. Look, we didn't stop you. Right now, you actually have us stopped. Right. Well, you came up to us. We didn't okay. come up to you. We're actually walking. We're allowed to do according you're to the Constitution. Allowed, so you're not allowed to walk up on the officer and ambush them in any kind of way. Ambush That's them? not allowed. Ambush them? That's ambush them? If they're sitting in their car and you're walking up to them, yes, that is a threat. Well, we didn't. It puts us in a situation for officer safety. What's the question? We feed a statute to them. I'm not talking about that. If we can, so, so are you what ready, she said, Mr. Airborne? I just, so what I'm just she concerned about officer safety. Oh, no, 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 but I'm just saying. stating it for she the record. Says, Mr. Airborne, She said talk? there's a uh, law. Vehicles only. Yeah. We're not in the vehicle. That's what I was saying. Big Mr. difference. I was going to do that can we talk, please? Sure. I, I love having conversations with people who actually want to talk. Oh, yeah. I would like to understand you, but there's oh, no the understanding Oh, the reason I'm not here is because y'all had a sergeant named Rodriguez. He's in, my blue okay. light, he's in my Holly Heights. Blue, Officer blue steel. Rodriguez? We don't have a sergeant, Rodriguez. Oh, yeah. Mm, not a sergeant. We got an officer. Okay, he might be What's an officer first now. I don't know. His wife is the, from the... From the uh... Yeah, Officer Rodriguez. Okay, so Officer. he's not a sergeant anymore. He's an officer. That I can assure you. We're not allowed to you. Okay? All right. But you mean, was he a sergeant in your... In my video. Not, not as an officer, as an airborne? Not, not as an officer. Not as an officer. As a sergeant. Okay. Yeah. Blue Steel Holly Heights makes good bathroom reading material. Okay. It's Holly Heights. You know the drill. Holly Heights. Out in the In the crime corridor. Okay, that's ASO. Oh, I, I don't go out too far. But, okay. Mr. Uh, GPD. So, let me ask you this. What's, what's the... What can we do to resolve this? Oh, wait, he come in here I, for... I feel like he's trying to instigate. I don't want him to think that we're trying to do anything I'll... to harm you guys, but I can't allow you guys to harm my guys. Oh, yeah. What are you, that's what all mean I'm saying. And I'm not saying that you would, but unfortunately, we live in a but, world uh, right now where that's... What we came here for was actually business. Okay. And uh, we, I had some problems with the Veterans Administration. Everything is on my YouTube channel from Blue Steel Holly Heights. 
regarding this situation where the four ASO deputies and the GPD officer, now not sergeant anymore, he, he, uh, he, they all come out there on me because I was trying to get out of Holly Heights. I'm on Section 8 VA subsidized housing because I've received benefits from the VA. Okay. And uh, it was awful out there. It was, you know, crime infested. Mm -hmm. Also, um, it was unsanitary. And uh, all of the videos on there, like there's videos on there with thousands of roaches, and, you know, and stuff like that. And uh, anyway, long story short, I went out there with a sign to protest. Okay. But, my conditions i had a letter from the va doctor and everything trying to get out of banner properties it was a disaster and then sergeant rodriguez who was a senior for that patrol of the four deputies and him okay. and they for an hour and 20 minutes accosted me not okay. physically but fit, and then they violated my fourth and first amendment rights okay have I'm you talked to anybody at oh i went that? to i went first to the uh um, prosecuting attorney's office, Alachua County, uh, Kramer. Okay. And I talked to two investigators there and they gave me about, they baffled me with bullshit and sent me on my way. So I went back, watch out love. So, um, they, they, uh, they baffled me with bullshit and told me I didn't have a case, which I met the minimum threshold cause I got the videos of it. Anyway, long story short, when I went, I realized I stepped in a pile of shit. And so I wanted my FOIA. I don't know a lot about this. So whenever I tried to contact them about the Freedom of Information Act, where I went in and they talked with me, you know, and bullshitted me out of there. Then they stated that they did not, I did not go in there and they had no documents that pertain to me. It was a lie. Oh yeah, I got it all on my whole YouTube channel. I don't do this. This is from my, all of the incidences, just like today at the VA. The social workers outside, me standing out there on the courthouse, that's me. I wonder if I was out there at the district attorney's office that one day and then the rest of the days out at the courthouse. That was me. Okay. But I'm just here. We went to follow up on that and we just come through and I was just interested because I see a lot of police departments that have the, the blue line flag. You know what I'm saying? The subdued flag, which is a state of so war. You mean the, the state of Florida flag? No. The blue line? No, it's not a state. It's an American flag. American flag. That's what I'm saying. That's sorry. okay. Flag, it's hot out here, right. too. I just... I'm dripping grease. We today? just come from Chinese buffet. We just dealt with a murder today, so that's Oh, I'm what, sorry to hear that. I was in the parking lot trying to finish up paper. Hey, look here. I didn't mean to... So. <laughs> we were just coming through. We didn't see no stop okay. sign. I mean, no uh, so trespassers. So, let me to you, if you hear me out. Yes, ma'am. Okay? This is a public area. So we have a bike trail that literally goes... Oh, yeah. I've ridden on it a hundred times. I used to live over by the Triangle House. So, it's not that we're telling you hey, don't be in it. But it's one thing to walk through. And I understand. Me. And then it's another thing to be, if I'm sitting in my car and I'm typing, and then I get startled by somebody that's like this in my window. Oh, well, you don't mean... totally Did, did you... I'm, I'm not... And you, and you catch and you catch an officer off guard, and we're not paying attention because we're so deep in it. It, it catches us. I off got guard. you. That's all. It didn't I got you. Off guard that's like I your office. I understand. So that's all. I and I, I want him to understand that part of it. We're human. I think a lot of people miss that. That we're human. Oh no. <laughs> I've been through stuff. What you're saying, and I've done the whole paperwork, documentation, going and trying to be heard. And sometimes it's frustrating. It sometimes it hasn't. And I'm a vet. And I'm, I have supportive services and everything in place. Yeah. So, and that's yeah. why we're here. And, and I think that's why we have to communicate. Because I think even if whoever you're dealing with... Hey, my with neighbor... That I, I think, you know, if they really listen to you, we get somewhere. My neighbor works here. Okay. And I'm very proud to have him as my neighbor. Okay. Who's that? Top of the line human being in my eyes, you know. They stole my iconic bicycle from my blue, yeah. from, you know, my Holly Heights blue. And I run them down, the bicycle thief, you know. And then uh, they got Officer West out of his house to go do his due diligence on him. Everything was copacetic. That was good. But, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I, I don't. That's Florida audit. We never want to come off as confrontational. But no, like we're, I said, I'm I not. I think sometimes yeah. we're not. I'm not to saying each that other. about y'all. That's where we, we fall. But. And we just had a good experience in there. Wow, we got a lot of female lieutenants. That's right. You don't see that much in the We're army. Up and coming. We're up and coming.
them. Yeah, good for y'all. <laughs> I believe in empowerment of all human beings. Yes. We're all the same. Thank you. I don't look. She's. Oh yeah, I'm on. She passes her driving test. <laughs> <laughs> She got her, her butter bar for academics, not... <laughs> That's no, okay. She's, she's good, man. She's good. Well, thank you for hey, your nice time and effort. You. Yes, ma'am. And again, if you guys ever want to come, talk, that's fine. My name's Sterling, and it's nice to meet you. Who was it? Sterling. Gotcha. Okay. Nice All right, to meet you, let's go. sir. All right. All right. See you guys. Did you educate everybody? Lottie Dottie and everybody? Well, it seems like those guys up there are pretty hit to uh, what's going on. You know, I asked them, I, I'm a, am I still, yeah, I'm still shooting. It went off, and my game, thing got hot. Oh, oh, your gimbal. Yeah, it went off for a while, but it's back on. Yeah, I just asked him, I said, I asked him, I said, would you support, I said, if you was out on the call, and you seen one of your fellow officers. <laughs> oh, you give them hypotheticals. Violate somebody else's rights. Are you going to speak up and tell that man to come here and tell me, hey, no, no, we don't do that shit. But they couldn't answer that, so I let it go. I basically told her I wasn't leaving until you were. Hey, I wasn't gonna leave that big thing to tell me if I'm, I'm, I'm free to go. But then, to, I'm free to stay. But honestly, I I wanted to look for the blue ISIS flag, and the only one I, I seen see was that one that hit his flag from me when he oh, ran in the on white his one. Uniform? Yeah, the white I one. Dude about that. I said, you all approve of uh, the guy said well, I got one on my wrist. He had blue Well, you Lion can't put thing. anything on your uniform. You're not authorized to wear. Right. And I doubt. Chief Tony Jones is authorizing him to wear that's that shit. That's the desecration of the fucking flag. Not only that, it's the desecration of his fucking well, he, all their well, he integrity. Had, he had a blue line wristband on one of his plastic rubber type. Oh. He, he had one of them on his wrist. See his magazine pouches, the other I officer. I brought that up to him. He said, he said that's that's the support of a fallen officer. Nope. I said, I said no. I said when you support a fallen no. officer, you wear a band around your badge. That's your just badge. like yeah. some cracker, ass cracker wearing a Ku Klux Klan. Yeah. Or a rebel yeah. flag on his outfit, on his uniform. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, that'd be just like us wearing uh, two lightning bolts. Yeah, or SS's or something something nasty. Well, two lightning bolts, that, that's a daring brother. Yeah, that, 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 that's or the, that's the SS from the... Well, yeah, from the Nazis. Nazis. Well, that's, that's why the daring brother... My grandfather that. was killed by them when he was 19 years old. Yeah. It's like he got some storm from this way. Well, I did my first cop watch yeah. today. That was good. Spotted some blue ISIS flags. I will be following up on that. Just stop just stop your little ad living. Hey, he's not sergeant. You seen on the video? He has sergeant stripes. He's an officer now. Who? Rodriguez. The one that I call the sociopath, the little tyrant. Hey, stand on this side because they short the curb. I'm not being mean to you, old man. <laughs> they short the curb. Going past no, I'm talking about from behind you. This is Gainesville. They don't drive good. They're all college. They don't drive good either. You got to go over to the east side of Gainesville or back out to where we come from where they drive right. You'll see whenever you go back to you'll be like, why do people drive fucked up here? All right, where are you going next? I don't know. We're going across the street. Oh, well, yeah, I know that. I'm going to get a drink. What do you drink? Uh, you got it across the road orange, to make it out. Orange, well, I go with orange crush, I did my first cop watch today. No diet shit. Or police station audit. We are cops. We're citizens on patrol. You hear me? That's what cop stands for. The, citizen the, on patrol. The taxi cabs down in Ohio. They have T-O-P on all their taxi cabs. It stands for taxi on patrol. Oh. Yeah, you know. And, and oh, top cab. Well, it's not top cab. No, I'm, no, they don't. I see. It stands and, for taxis on patrol. Yeah, they have they have a radio in the car. It, it's directly into the police department, and anytime they see anything, they snitch. Wow. Yeah. 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 All right, we're gonna cross eighth here someday. Yeah, someday. Before we make it across, I'll probably be don't collecting cross, social security. Now, after, we, after, we, uh, after you rile these motherfuckers up, man, I gotta quit going out with you, man. You keep riling these cops up. Gonna well, I'm gonna tell y'all. You go get Florida me audits is buck wild. They don't take no. Look at this one. Give me that Harley, bitch. Get all that Harley. This is a Kawasaki. Sound like it. You uh, sure? Yeah, some of them are Kawasaki's ready. All right, let's go. Prepare to die, ready, die. This is poor dirt farmer and I'm dirty.
All right, y'all, we made it. 